Hey, Lucia Barrier, I'm a developer experience engineer at Prismic, and this is one of my cool tricks with Next3. I'd like to talk to you about the new Composables directory in Next3, and how you can refactor some of your code with Composables. Here, I have a really simple application with two pages, an index page and an about page. You can see that for these two pages, I'm defining meta tags using the useHead Composable provided by Next. And you might know that the head can become quite complex and verbose for real websites. So far, I've only defined titles and descriptions for my two pages, and there's already a lot of copy pasting going around. Let's refactor that using the Composables directory. The Composables directory is a new directory available in Next3. It's similar to the Components directory, but is meant to store your Composables. Let's create one to manage our head. We'll call it use simple head. Inside it, we'll just export a function. This function will take two arguments, a title and a description. For its logic, it will inherit most of the one we had in our page components, like this. You can see here that just like inside our page components, we don't need to import the use add composable next provides. It's auto-imported. And without further ado, let's go back to our page components and refactor them with our new Composable. Wow, as you can see, Next already picked up that we created a Composable and is suggesting us to use it. Just like Next Composables, Composables created in the Composables directory are auto-imported for you. Neat. All right, let's finish our refactoring. And voila, we abstracted our head logic in a simple composable of ours. Now, if we want to iterate on it, let's say we want to trim descriptions to the recommended length for SEO, we can just update our composable to reflect that and it will be applied on all our pages. Great, I hope you enjoyed this quick demo of the composables directory and that it inspired you to create your own composables with Next3.